<laughs> what up guys welcome to born again and today i'm gonna walk you through why i went to berlin two weekends ago <laughs> I went to Łódź, yeah I know, where is that? Central Poland, I went to stay with my granddad because like my grandma like passed away a couple like years ago and he's kind of a bit lonely but unfortunately he kicked me out after two weeks so I had to kind of like change my plans and I really was a bit confused but I, just, I found like the plane tickets from Łódź cost £110 and from Berlin £30 and Polski bus to Berlin cost £15 and like another 65 or so like would get me through two three days so I was like damn this is a no-brainer so what did I do Berlin number two guys peace I'm actually like a really fat history nerd all the documentaries and like <laughs> all the facts like are in my head I love it but if you haven't been to Berlin then you haven't lived as a historian like you haven't I mean Berlin Wall Brandenburg Gate, the American spy watchtower, the Reichstag, guys, Berlin Wall, imagine that, part of the city was completely cut off from the rest of the country, if you went past it you'd get killed, the Reichstag which was burned down in, by Hitler to get into power, the American spy watchtower, there's a huge spy tower on the top of a hill, like in the southwestern kind of forest in Berlin, which used to overlook East Berlin, Communist Berlin, from like capitalist West Berlin, which was built on the rubble from like the destruction of Berlin in the Second World War. And there is more. Don't forget the Olympic Stadium, guys, which was built for the 1936 Berlin Olympics, which is when like, Hitler was in power. I mean, and I almost forgot the Berlin Cathedral. And just in case you want the official name, it's called the Evangelical Supreme Parish and Collegiate. It's beautiful actually. Number three. I didn't expect this, but after going coming back from Berlin, like it's definitely a really alternative hipster kind of feel. You can really be yourself, like you know, no one looks twice. You can like stick a tattoo anywhere, dress any way you want, just act however you want, and like no one is gonna like really care. Isn't that alright? Number four, and if you're an engineer, you have to come to Berlin just to see the factories. Like just driving in to Berlin, you see like just it's crazy factories right basically in the city. And just to reaffirm, Bergen Club, which is the best techno club in the world, is situated in a former factory. Isn't that bloody cool? Number five. And the son of two Polish parents. Like, there is history between Poland and Germany, and I just needed to check it out, like, to see if it's still safe, like they supposedly say, and you know what? No, it's really bloody cool, you know, it's, they really, like, moved on in, like, a beautiful, like, way, you know? I love Germany. Number six. And if you love, like, Volkswagen classics, like, the Beatles, campers, more campers, or like BMWs, Mercedes, Audis, you know those cars. Like, then you have to check Berlin out because it's like, it's like a show. There's just, they're everywhere. Seven. And I was checking through my like, parents' photo album and I was so surprised to see they've been to Berlin, like before traveling was a thing. <laughs> Great excuse to like do it myself and explore. Number eight. And you know what? Continental summer weather is amazing. And in case you can't see here in London, we're still praying for like summer to come. Maybe it'll come in July now, maybe August, a week or two. But continental weather, I got a really nice colorful kind of glow from Germany and what more do you want? Just go Berlin and see it for yourself. Yeah. It was really cool and I love it. And I met really loads of cool people. I could talk about it forever, so <laughs> forgive me that. <laughs> Remember, in Bergen, you have to dress all black. All black if you want to get in. Oh, and in case you ain't liked, commented, or even subscribed, 
then you really gotta do that to born again. Yeah.